In deep ecology, there's a really good point about not taking the life of any other living thing without sufficient reason, and that it applies to insects as well. Um, you can find bug zappers and bug traps all over the country, all over the continent, and different parts of the world. And again, we don't want to abandon common sense. Sometimes we have to protect a crop or protect health, you know, of people and pets and livestock. But generally, especially in residential areas like mine, when you find these things, they don't serve much purpose other than to convince people they're killing a lot of insects. And you can see this is at least a third full of dead flies. And there's not a whole lot to protect around here. It's just a regular neighborhood. Um, and I didn't steal this from anybody. I would never take anybody's property, but this was abandoned at EcoCycle at the curbside. Very common practice when people have personal items they don't need anymore. Instead of actually recycling them, they'll leave them at the curb hoping that somebody else will pick it up and make use of it. Well, I'm making use of this particular trap for this video just to demonstrate, again, uh, the basic disregard for life and living things. I have a whole page that I'll reference on the sidebar here about insects and protecting insects and other living things. But the point is, there's no need to waste your time and money buying these kinds of devices and zappers and everything else just to wantonly kill insects for no reason. Um, I'm against it. A lot of folks are against it. There's just no need for it. It's a waste of time and resource and money. But again, cautionary note, there are times we, when we want to protect ourselves from disease carrying insects and those kinds of things but generally when you find something like this hanging out on somebody's patio day in and day out and they're never home it doesn't serve any purpose other than to take life for no reason and I'm sure we can do better than this.